Hi guys, welcome to day 23 of Start Now. Today I want to talk about um, using resources to help us accomplish God's uh, purpose for our life. And the number one resource is the Bible, which the Bible uh, calls the sword of the spirit. So the Bible is going to be the main thing to help you accomplish God's will for your life. Just reading the Bible, allowing the Holy Spirit to give you a word from the Bible. Um, you can read the same story over and over again, and God will give you revelation that applies to your life today. It's just really amazing how the Holy Spirit can bring that. The Holy Spirit, like the Bible is just like a chronicle of history, but it's the Holy Spirit inside of you that unlocks um, the Spirit of God, and He is able to take the Scriptures and apply it to your life personally. And, and if you don't have the Holy Spirit, that it's impossible to unlock the Bible in that way, in that supernatural way. So the sword of the Spirit is the number one thing um, with prayer that is going to help you accomplish uh, God's will for your life, is reading the Bible. You have to be in, you cannot achieve God's will fully if you're not in the Word. It's impossible. You'll 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 deplete your your energy, your spiritual. You'll deplete all your energy if you're not feeding it back in through the word. But God will also bring other resources, other books, other people um, into your life to help you accomplish whatever He has um, for you. And I use the example of David fighting Goliath. So let me read real quick. Um, after Goliath moved closer to attack, David quickly ran out to meet him. Reaching into his shepherd's bag and taking out a stone, he hurled it with his sling and hit the Philistine in the forehead. The stone sank in and Goliath stumbled and fell face down to the ground. So a lot of, um, a lot of theologians think the stone is what knocked him out to the ground. And then after that, um, David ran over and pulled Goliath's sword from its sheath. And then David used it to kill him and cut off his head. So it was the sword that ultimately gave, gave David his victory. But it was the sling that was a, was a resource or a tool he used to actually knock Goliath down. And so we all have a Goliath in our way, in, in, in our way of our promises of God. We all have a Goliath in our way. And the sword of the spirit will... Um, remove that giant, but sometimes we have to use resources first to knock the giant out before we can just uh, totally slay it with the, the sword of the spirit. Does that make sense? And so if God has something for you, yes, you need to read your Bible. Yes, you need to have the word, the sword of the spirit, but he's going to also give you slings. He's going to give you all these resources. He's going to give you people. He's going to give you books. He's going to give you different programs or, or classes or, um, you know, sermons or whatever it is. He's going to give you these slings first to help you knock out your Goliath, whatever's standing away from you and your promises. And then the sword of the spirit is ultimately going to um, remove the giant or, or kill the giant, take it away. So don't, God's going to bring you those slings. Maybe some of you guys are stuck and Goliath is still strong. You know, it could be your uh, ignorance in an area. It could be a lack of resources. It could be whatever it is standing in, the, in your way from your promises. It's there and you keep saying, God, I'm praying. I'm, I'm reading my Bible. I'm doing all these things. And God's like, well, I'm also giving you all these other resources. I'm trying to give you people, I'm trying to give you books, I'm trying to give you information to help you uh, at least knock that giant down, and then the sword of the spirit will ultimately kill him and take him, take it away. And so I just want to say, look, look around you, see if there's some slings, some resources that God has been saying, hey, I'm, I'm trying to give this to you, and you're not listening to me. You know, because sometimes it takes two, it takes the sword of the spirit, and it takes a sling to knock that giant down. So I just want to say, you know, look for those slings, look for those books, look, look for those classes, look for those people who will help you achieve your destiny. So I hope you guys have a great day. Today was uh, Start Now Day 23, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for Day 24. Bye.